Welcome to Short Corners, where we give you some quick thoughts on some of soccer's biggest topics of the weeks. I'm Amovio Kugo, back again with my guy, L. You already know what it is. L, how you feeling? Chilling, man. Just, you know how it is. How it always is. It's grinding. Working, grinding. working, working. The yeah, grind don't stop. A, lo- a lot happening, you know, behind the scenes with Two Cents and, you know, the extended family. Uh, there's some big. There's been some big episodes this week. Uh, yep. So make sure you guys check those out. Uh, but what we've all been waiting for, MLS is back uh, less than 20 days, I believe. Yeah, 26. Oh, what? I, I jumped the gun. But, L, take it away. What we got uh, for these short corners? Um, well, really, we want to give some love to the media teams this week. Um, they've been killing it, especially during the offseason, player reveals, everything. You know, as you know, um, during the January window, we had some big splashes. You know, Douglas Costa signing the LA Galaxy. Lorenzo Insigne joining Toronto, but he'll be here in the summer. Um, and then, you know, what's his name? Jordan Shakiri will be joining Chicago Fire. And that's been like the big, big one. So, um, you know, outside of Insigne. But like I said before, the real MVPs have been the media teams this offseason. Um, you got Charlotte doing their thing in their inaugural season, you know, putting out dope content. Um, Atlanta does their thing as always. You even got players getting in on the on the mix. You know, Andrew Farrell has been killing it on TikTok and in um, IG Reels. Um, even even our guy uh, Preacher Man been oh, doing Ray, his yeah. thing. Yeah, Bray Gaddis been doing his thing up. as well. Ray wants to yep. tap in with us again. He got some stuff lined up, so I'm excited for him. For sure, for sure. So players have, be- have definitely been getting their content game up. Um, but one thing, especially this week, that's been kind of standing out is the reveal videos. So. Um, Chicago revealed um, Shakiri this week with the pretty dope video they flew all the way to Switzerland for. Um, and then LA also revealed um, their Douglas Costa video. So we're going to take a look at these, kind of give our get our impressions of them and stuff like that. So we'll start with LA first. Uh, most definitely. And real quick, shout out to the media teams because that stuff is not easy. L does a lot of work behind the scenes. I try to be posted on my page. <laughs> that stuff is difficult. So athletes you know within your teams give love to the media team and if you treat them right trust and believe they're going to treat you right yes sir pay your media team so let's check out this la um reveal for douglas costa de onde eu venho o futebol está no meu sangue somos vibrantes e somos fortes sou ousado e habilidoso Somos alegres e contagiantes. Tenho incontáveis títulos e troféus. Eu poderia ir a qualquer lugar, mas eu escolhi o Galaxy. Vou trazer o flash que o LA espera. You ready? So what's your thoughts on that one, man? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that was low-key weak, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you. That was low-key weak. Like, y'all should have just done, like, if y'all wanted to make it, like, inspirational, just have him, like, black backdrop, good lighting, come in, do a spiel, maybe a little bit of some highlights, and then bounce. But, like, the people coming in, dancing, the flag coming out of nowhere, uh, yeah, I, uh, I was forced. I think it was like I felt like it was rushed for me personally. Yeah, yeah, I feel that way too. Like I think there could have been a lot more effort put into it. Um, I, I get the people dancing the carnival, you know, vibe of um, of Brazil, but yeah. I definitely think it could have been it could have been better. Um, I'm not sure what the rush is. It may be like a budgetary thing. They spent all the money on the transfer fee or on his salary. <laughs> they had to cut back in other places, but um, yeah, I feel like. Definitely could have been better. So in contrast to that though, Chicago, like I mentioned before, has like been the real MVP of this this season so far. So let's take a look at their um reveal video for Shakiri. Alright, most definitely. Did you get your flight number already? Yes, I think it's CF-97. See you soon, Chicago. I 
What's your thoughts on that one? Yeah, see? Obviously, they, uh, you can tell they had a budget. Obviously, they flew to Switzerland, or sorry, mm -hmm. where, wherever he's currently at, I think Switzerland, uh, yeah. to make it happen. And yeah, just, you know, show some highlights of him as a player. Uh, made it a little bit fun with the, the flight CF-97. That was a little corny, but it was good corny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and then like even the caption, the Alpine Lake Michigan Messi, you know, so that that brings some excitement not to say douglas costa doesn't but mm -hmm. i think um I, I like it yeah yeah i think it's dope mm -hmm. as well like i'm always a, a sucker for a more cinematic play uh -huh. um so they put some some thought behind it you could tell there's like some yeah. a concept sort of you know what i mean Facts. like like a like a bond villain or some type of you know yeah. action movie concept behind it so i think that's super dope um yeah, I think they did a super good job. And kind of staying on the topic of Chicago, they also um, have a, a like a docu series that they, that they put out, kind of chronicling um, preseason and stuff like that. Forget the name of it, but we're gonna go ahead and watch the trailer real quick, and then come back with our reactions. Perfect. Yeah, MLS teams keep making content. This is what gets the exposure. The sixty-six. They have to come shovel the snow in my house. <laughs> That's gonna be a lot of snow, by the way. So I wait till the very last minute to put these shoes on because, man, my feet are on fire. The dogs are barking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're playing handball. <laughs> Opa! Oh, that first group right here got it. Oh, don't let John catch you. Don't let John catch you. Oh, still got it. <laughs> still got it. <laughs> but just be patient with the ball. Don't force it because our oh, coach said play fast. No, no, no. Play fast, but not in a hurry. Very important. Yeah, it's been a very exciting time for me, man. From the time that I signed back in November till now, I'm just full of excitement, you know, because this is something that I've always wanted to have that opportunity to do to be that guy that's leading the team. You know, I've been on a lot of teams where, you know, yes, uh, my influence is there and yes, I'm a big part of the, the staff, but you don't really make the final decision on, on a lot of things, you know. And now that becomes your job. It becomes your job to lead uh, this group of young men uh, and try to teach them, you know, how to be successful in a league that I played in, that I've coached in now for some, quite some time. I, I just can't wait to see the final product, you know, after this six weeks of preseason is done and, you know, we're in Miami and that season starts, you know, to see those guys go out and just implement, you know, what they've been you know, taught uh, during this preseason. So uh, I'm looking forward to that first game where we can go out and, and show, okay, this is what we've been working on. This is our player. This is the new Chicago Fire. You know? This is what we're about. And just try to, you know, imprint our game on, on, on teams from, from week to week. What you think about that one? No, I like it a lot. I think, you know, anything inside, obviously we've seen the NFL do it, you know, mm -hmm. HBO Hard Knocks, you know, All or Nothing. This is the type of stuff that fans want to see. It right. just helps, you know, build that, that that excitement, just that inside feel um, that, you know, a lot of people want to see behind the scenes. And for Chicago Fire, a team that's, you know, kind of been down and out for quite some time, this is a great way to rebuild that excitement that engagement and um I, i'm i'm rooting for you know coach ezra you know I, I hope they do well chicago's a storied franchise and uh you know whenever we see one of us in these positions you always got to root for them 100%. Uh, so yeah i'm excited and i'm definitely gonna watch more episodes as they lead up to the as, as they lead up to the season 
yeah i thought it was dope as well um like you said like behind the scenes content is always golden like mm -hmm. people love to see that people love that's that's the way that people connect to their teams they understand they exactly. get to see the personalities of the players um they get to see the personality of the coaches and how everybody gels together you know coach ezra is a the entertaining guy like you can see like he's funny you know what i'm saying so it, that'll, that'll be good to kind of get a get a backseat view of you know what's going on with them like they got a new new crest so this is the first season with the new crest um the, after the rebrand the second rebrand yeah. so a lot of big things coming up for chicago shout out to the homie jamie um shout out to coach ezra as well um also like the little intro they got there it's giving me like succession vibes a little bit like yeah right with the music dramatic yeah <laughs> it's, so that and was dope I, as well i think what well, you, you said you hit the nail on the head i think a lot of times not to like cover their tracks but you know when things are going bad you know fans are able to sympathize a little bit more when you're able to give them an inside view of what's going on and like content like this not to say it's like an excuse to okay we could go play bad and the fans are going to love us regardless uh, it just gives them an inside scoop of like yo it's not easy we don't just come out on the field and just play like there's a lot of things behind the scenes that you guys don't know about so not to say we're going to show everything, but we're going to show enough for you guys to feel included and see like what we're like, you know, outside of the pitch for 90 minutes where you guys come watch us play. Yes. And MLS, this is what you need. You need more of this. You need more of your teams doing this. You need this on the league level. Tap in with us. We got some ideas. Um, so, yeah, shout out to all the media teams across the league doing your thing. You guys work hard. We appreciate y'all. We appreciate the content you put out. Um, as content creators ourselves, we know it's not easy. So salute to y'all. That's it. Yeah, most definitely. Because uh, I was already looking. I was like, all right, who made that? And then I seen it. I was like, uh-oh. Yo, that need to be produced by two cents at, very, at, at some point very soon. So we got some things lined up. 2022 is going to be a big year. Um, but with that being said, excited for the MLS season. Shout out to the MLS uh, media staff comms team pr team uh your job is a very thankless job but we appreciate you guys seeing it you know from our own uh hand as well but l anything closing or should i take it away um no nah, take it away well that's our show for this week subscribe rate and review it helps us get discovered follow us on the socials at two cents fc check out our merch at two cents sports.shop if you enjoy the show, consider dropping us a donation using the link in the description. It helps support the show. It helps support us continuing to get wonderful guests. It helps support L, you know, doing all the editing that he has to do behind the scenes. Uh, we support, as you can see, L's rocking the Black Diamond shirt. Shout out to New Mexico's uh, supporters group. And tweet us your comments on the show and any topics you want me or L to discuss at you on a weekly basis, whether it's Two Cents FC, whether it's Shorts Corners, whether it's the blog, whether it's another show, we're coming at you weekly, so make sure y'all tap yeah. in with me. Make sure y'all check out um, For The Culture, that the illustrious Kev on stage, hilarious episode, super dope guy, so check that out as well. Check out Shea Butter FC, um, check out Can I Kick It, that we cooking over here. Respect. Peace out. Peace.